<laughs> so good, bruh. Do you know when you begin to make a drawing and you love it, but then you just <sighs> close it? One day I will finish it. And that day never, ever, forever, never comes. You just go like, yeah, it's there, right? I'll finish it. And then it passes a year. And then it passes another year. And then it passes so long. And then you go, you pick that art and go like, I was going to finish that. Oh my, look at that. Oh no, why I did this? Oh, oh, look. Oh, I, I, I don't even want to finish this anymore. And that's what we are going to solve today. How do you finish your whips that you leave there just getting some dust in the corner? We're gonna pick them, take that dust out, and just gonna work on them. Subscribe for more. Let's go, let's go, go, go. One of our beautiful champs, Fuge, sent her artwork and she just like let this artwork get some dust. They're like, no, I don't want to do this anymore. No, no, this is, this is not feeling that good. I want to keep drawing it, but I don't know. It doesn't feel that good. What should I do? What should I do? And that's what we are going to show right now. But remember, first things first, whenever you're drawing, you need to also have that mindset that you understand oh okay i need to have confidence that i'm going to do or go into a certain direction i need to have that mindset that i'm going to do this certain thing because if you don't you are going to feel pressure in the in the wrong way in the not good way you are going to feel your self-confidence low you are going to feel low self-esteem you're not going to trust yourself so yeah, you gotta trust yourself, you gotta believe in yourself, and you gotta have a principle, an objective in the mind, something to focus, okay? So let's go into that. You cannot just get lost, oh, I don't know, I don't know, calm down. Breathe in, breathe out, and then you choose what I want with this drawing. And my reply here is a cool cat looking away into the horizon a cool cat looking away i want to make this scene a badass scene that's what i want from this now that we have our main objective we must think what are the features that a cool character amazing character have normally not only the pose the colors the shadows the drama on it everything that they have and these are all steps that we are going to pass through together. If there is only one thing that I want you to take from the class and you just go like, close the class, close the class, go do whatever you want, is to have the confidence in you to go on to the end. I had this feeling. I had this feeling loads of times that you were drawing there. You were feeling, oh my, this is so wrong. I don't like it. It's, it's not looking that amazing. It's not looking what I would like it to look. You gotta go even that it's not looking that good, okay? You gotta keep trying. First things first, let's fix what must be fixed. We need to fix the gesture. Yeah, we need to have a good gesture. We need to have like a good movement. We need to have like a composition. Gesture or comp. After that, yeah, we gotta have a good anatomy. Since a charter artwork, a good anatomy. After a good anatomy, in what you're checking your artwork that you leave that whip. Remember, we are doing like a checklist on what to check. After we got the main objective, okay? Objective. Remember, this is the first thing. After we choose the main objective, we go to gesture, anatomy. We check those things. And I already noticed that we need to work more on the anatomy here. Example, this hand right here. Right here, right now. Not only the hand, but the size of the shirt right here. I could go all and do this. But the main important thing is to use a reference. It's strange, see? It's cringe. Do you want your art looking cringe? Do you want it? I don't, so you don't too. We don't, okay? So what we're gonna do? We are going right now into something called Guru Go 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 And we're gonna search for hand. Or even better, Anatomy 3D.
This is a good anatomy, but we need to remember, this hand looks too static. Too static. Here, the hand would be a little bit more closed. This is a, this is a big mistake that people do. They pick the reference and do it exactly as the reference. So it looks like the reference. <laughs> but maybe the reference is not 100% what you need. That's why you need more than one reference or... or you just go and do it by your way. And remember, Fuge, I know you may not like what was happening here, but you did your very best with the mind that you had at that moment, with the situation that you were. The hands were the biggest thing. Second thing that I noticed at pants. Don't be afraid to do some lines of action because everything is bending. Yeah, things are bending. If the tail is here, his ass is like right here. Normally, the tail here got thicker, so it must be even thicker right here. This thing here should be in the middle. Duplicate here. The middle of his body. Not our middle. If go down this way here, it needs to go down the same way on the other side. Remember that. Let me show a simple technique for muzzle. Start here, go a little bit down, go up, circle, circle, close it. By the way, this is a huge feline, nose, muzzle. If you want to do a small feline, it needs to be pretty small, like extremely small. Like you have the eyes, the nose is going to be pretty small. We can do the cat ears even bigger. In place of me drawing it again, it's much more simple for me to just go here, select it, and go into my beautiful liquify. And that's why I love Photoshop. One of the reasons, by the way. Cat got big, big ears. The best way to see it is when we see cat no fur. Look at the size of those ears. Cat have like gigantic, gigantic ears. That's why we must always use reference. I have showed you the importance of having a main objective, the importance of gesture, composition, seeing if everything is fine. And after those two, you go into anatomy. Fix place by place on that whip that you found, that you did years ago, and you were like, no, 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 I don't like it. You go fix that little thing by little thing because time passed and now you have more ability, more skills, and more, let's say, a fresh vision at it. Now you can look with other eyes, eyes that at that time you were not able to see clearly those mistakes that you did, but now you're able to see it. You dare watching the content? You have not live a like?
What? You have not subscribed and comment? Go right now, do that. Because if you don't... We're going to just duplicate the layer. No, no, we play hard, play hardcore. Same layer, same layer, guys. This is this is hardcore gaming right here. Hardcore gaming. I'm going to change my brush mode to darken, so it's just like if you're painting traditional. If your brush is lighter, it's not going to affect. But if your brush is darker, it's going to affect. Just like traditional art. First, I'm going to add like those occlusion occlusion shadows at places that nobody's going to look at, like. This place is going to receive a strong, strong shadow. I'm focusing on strong shadows first. And then I focus on more normal shadows. What does she mean by strong shadows and not normal? Well, I mean shadows that you could imagine that first, then the soft ones, okay? I'm doing first the shadows that people think, yo, this must be here. This like must, must, it's a must. I remember to use lasso too if you're just tired of painting by your hand and you go like, bruh, I, I just want to select everything and go swoosh swoosh. So you just go swoosh swoosh and you paint everything just like a huge train. We have gone into darker colors, but not into brighter colors. He's looking powerful that it's our main object objective. It's all about persistence. Going to the end, you can do it. Don't give up on your art. Don't give up. You can achieve your dreams. You can. No matter if there's someone in your family or friends just telling you. No, you cannot be an artist. No, you don't have what it takes to. No, you don't have the tools. No, you don't have that. If it's what you want, go for it. Okay, here we are going to select extremely selectful places in his body. To not have the same effect of the clothing. What kind of places? The edges. Places that we think like, yeah, this is going to have a stronger heat of the light. The light's going to be a little bit stronger right here. Guys, when you are drawing, when you're painting shadows and light in the middle of the process, you gotta remember, you gotta remind yourself that strategic thinking of, okay, I'm going to add exactly here. This is my main objective. I'm going to add exactly here my shadow. I'm going to add exactly here my light, my source of light. We need to be precise. We need to do that thinking here. I already imagined it here. And then we apply it to paper. It's good to always go trying, even that you don't know, but by training your mind to already be strategic about what you're doing, grows and develop your ability even faster. Why? It's just like when you are playing a strategic gaming, when, like, it reminds me of that war game, 
uh, that you play with your friends and they are not your friend after that game. <laughs> you're already thinking on how you're going to win. Chess, chess, chess is the best comparison. You need to think of a way to win. You need to imagine, already mentalize inside of your mind what is going to happen, where. You need to be precise on that. Even that you don't know, you need to be precise and do that jump of faith that you're going to choose a certain place to do that, okay? That's an important tip, champs, important tip. I'm going to separate this in like three types of shadows that I did. Let's go into them. First one is the one more basic that you think, yo, that's totally going to be here. Like this one, because I was already imagining the light coming from here and hitting this way. This one, basic, basic shadow. And the second one is not so basic. Which one? You cannot see that well. Which one's the not so basic? The gradient here of shadow. The gradient here of shadow. Gradient here of shadow. The middle term, the one that it's more soft. You don't see that strongly, but it's there. And it do make your art look even more incredible. You do make it, champs. You do make it. And the third one is strong, dark places that the light just don't touch there. Simba, the light do not touch there. Simba, never forget, don't go into places that the light do not touch. What I mean by that, you may be asking. What I mean by that? Well, places that the light do not, not really, not, no, 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 do not touch is places that you're never, ever going to add details, okay? Promise me, you are never, ever, forever in your entire life going to add details into those specific spots. Because it's so dark, it takes out the details. Remember, more brightness, more space to receive light, reflect light, and by that reflection you can see the details, the texture and everything. But more darker it is, less details. An important thing to say, and the thing is, if you can see, you can see. <gasps> but I can see? I can see? Amazing effects, how? <laughs> Just by making one brighter and another one darker. Remember, always that there must be that equilibrium between ing and ang. Their equilibrium of brighter tones and darker tones. This is an important thing, please. Always remember, if you want to have something really calling attention, you gotta have something in the dark. It's about being in perfect na natural equilibrium. To have day, we gotta have night. To have good, we gotta have evil.
Okay, let's go into coloring. Yeah, first thing we need to fix all the levels. I'm going to click here and click on curves. Hold Ctrl and Alt together and click between those two. Now I'm going to click back on my curves. And now I'm gonna start to add extreme contrast into anything, everything here. If your cat's yellow, go add yellow. But add little by little to be sure that you're not adding too much into it. And you need to always maintain that perfect balance between levels and colors. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. You are an amazing human being. Keep doing your very best. You're loved. You can hit your goals. You hit your goals. You can get into your goals. You can get them. You can get them. I believe in you. I'm watching you, okay? I'm watching you. Go work hard for that. Discipline. Discipline. Honor. Go and do that, okay? Go and do that. You gotta have courage. And also, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and check out our Patreon game road if you want some kind of fake content or just support our channel, because we have a list of more than 50 tutorials for free for you to help you in your art journey. By the way, you're amazing, champ! Let me see you in the next stream! Bye-bye!